listen, the most shitty relationships you probably ever going to have is when you were a teenager, you know? At least my first relationship was very fucking toxic, man. I was I was Mine No, I was also. not I was not 18, I was 17. I've been like I think I have a record of being in a toxic relationship. And you know what? Toxic relationship if you are into these <laughs> toxic relationships, mm -hmm. you don't realize you become a toxic partner by the mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. you start learning these behaviors from these partners mm -hmm. and then you end up being one of those partners you yeah get, then you become the toxic yeah, partner it happened with me i like initially when i started dating you i mm -hmm. had these really toxic traits and then i thought about it and also mm -hmm. therapy worked yeah the, Shad, but i was like holy a, shit i was that kind of person we did couples therapy two sessions Fuck, yeah. I'll tell you, boys. It was the best. Yo, Katana, welcome, welcome to the chat. Best money that I ever spent. If you guys really think that relationship is very important to you guys, yeah. definitely it can be worth the money because some problems are too big for the couple to solve. Yeah. You know? Also, sometimes, yeah. And that, for me, it was a big realization yeah. that the, uh, so, like, there are some uh, behaviors I was literally doing what other partners my ex-partners they used to do yeah you know you lear learn by example <laughs> <laughs> by a bad example no, but, but it happens yeah uh Ishiki is saying i'm in a relationship uh right now still congratulations for that buddy yeah. uh thankfully i have found someone who i'll probably stay my life the rest of my life i mean i can tell you um life is very long boy uh hopefully that happens you know, and uh, yeah, all you can do is live your life day by yeah. day, month by night. But the, at this age, there is very quick changes in personality. And um, for example, chat. I before I I, I dated uh, I was I dated Pirikri, I was in a relationship for seven years, and then I took a break for like four years. I didn't have any any love relationship, right? So I dated from what uh, eighteen to 26 right 20 yeah 26 yeah. you know and there is a lot of phases that you're gonna because you, you're just gonna start growing up you know you go through college college is one thing then you're gonna start working and then when you go from college to start working is another big th difference and uh hopefully as you go in life you, your life you want new things in life and what happened to me was the relationship was always like very steady but at some point i wanted one thing in life she wanted another thing when we were like 25 and 24 25 we started wanting like different things and then we just took the different paths it was a a mutual breakup you know it was sad but it was no 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 hard feelings or anything it just just happens we I think we outgrew you, each other. You you are very lucky to have these normal. Breakups. Yeah, I never had like a. I only had one mutual breakup, and most all of them was so toxic. Yeah. Like that big breakup, that drama, and then after breakup, it's like a buffer period which extends, you know, for like a few months or years sometimes. Yeah. You know, that's that's bad, but I have a. I have a lot of experience in these toxic relationships. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> My whole personality... Is fucking toxic. <laughs> <laughs> no, developed out of those that, you know. Yeah. I, I know that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was bad. <laughs> I know but that. it happens for some reason. Um, uh, no, but it, I know. I know. It, it's tough. It's yeah. tough. You know, but uh, there is... the. Uh, if you take things with the calm... Put some thoughts. Most of the things, you know, they don't need to scale up as they as they as they do most of the yeah. times in any toxic relationship. And uh, I mean, toxic behaviors. The, the the relationship is toxic because they are toxic behaviors, right? Yeah. So the the harder thing that we can do is that, and and what we don't do most of the times is to identify what are my toxic behaviors inside this yeah. relationship. You know, so we always try to bounce for the oh no he's the toxic one no yeah, but yeah. we all have like certain levels of toxicity yeah and when you realize then things start changing yeah you know? but, but usually there is definitely the, here's how toxicity works um i also definitely got a few things from you <laughs> so it's like if one person starts being toxic 
toxicity inside the relationship it is toxic it's literally fucking toxic it spreads. so it, it spreads <laughs> that's true even like if you like, yeah even if you're like calm you never had any problems yeah. you don't like to fight and all things you're gonna get into the the toxicity yeah. You're gonna also start understanding. It's like, yo, fuck that, fuck this, fuck that. You know, you start acting in in a certain way, and then you also become toxic. So it's it's very it's very tricky. Yeah, it's dangerous. It is it very is. dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but but uh, uh, on the scale of one to ten, do, how much do you think I'm toxic in these days? Not in these days. Now, in these days, like. A, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <tell me. laughs> no, I'll say like uh, now probably a three. Okay, I think it's fair, you know. Mm. The, the, you know, uh, no, but I'm re uh, yeah, yeah. I changed a lot. Yeah, after meeting you. Yeah, you were up there <laughs> before. <laughs> um, but I'm glad you you met me. Uh, in that sense, that uh, you know, you you could uh, I could help you to overcome a few yeah. things, you know. And you, also, you is it definitely helped me in a lot of things. Yeah, I was not in a good mental health, and a lot of stuff was mm -hmm. going wrong. But that's how it changed. Like some people come in your life, and they drastically change, you know. Yeah. And these changes are like improvements, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why people say that date someone who makes you a better person. Yeah. You know. And th that is so true. I, I I never understood the meaning of it, but then now I understand. Yeah, if your partner is not making you better, then um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's that's how it works. Like it, making you better or making do you understand more toxic? now when um, so sometimes it's harsh to to listen to a few things. For example, when you listening to certain things from people that be married, like. 15, 20 years. They've been together for like 30 years together, right? Mm -hmm. And even my grandparents, like uh, what, like last year or something, uh, not last year, like a few months back, mm -hmm. they said to us that love is not enough. Yeah. You know, and you think, especially when you're young, what do you mean? Love is everything. You know, love fixes everything. Mm -hmm. Love is the, the key for everything. And it, you, you feel this. But... What do you think now that nowadays? You know, what what do you think about it? I feel more than love. I think the friendship it lasts. Uh, there should be a friendship. You mm -hmm. know, love definitely doesn't last longer because after love, there are like these realities they start uh, hitting you, mm -hmm. and that person who used to bring like butterflies and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It becomes reality. It becomes like a, a different version of the partner, you know? Yeah, and you, also you, the you life go from like a very uh, passion, vivid love. To practical. To a practical, more sincere, loving, yeah. caring love, right? Yeah. That's a transition. That will happen. That, will, that happens like in the first months of a relationship, right? Not first month, but I would no, say... No, first months. Oh, like okay. first six, seven months. Yeah. But then when you get like these tough times, mm -hmm. love doesn't help at all to solve those tough times. Mm -hmm. What helps is like what helps is like companionship, friendship, mm -hmm. you know, and teamwork. Yeah. I think marriage is more about like teamwork. Yeah. Building a good team together mm -hmm. than building a good love story. Th th that's always uh what I really wanted from you for us. Which was like very, very hard to get it, you know? Yeah. If, because um, inside you, there is this very selfish side. You know that. Mm -hmm. And um, you're not a good sharer. You, you, mm. you, you, you don't know how to share very well. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe, maybe this probably connected to, to something that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you probably are not aware or something. But there, there is sometimes like this very uh, in inbuilt uh, selfishness mm -hmm. that it made like very tough uh, for us to work together, mm -hmm. you know. I feel like now is getting slightly better. Yeah. You know, slightly better. I feel like you managing... To open up to understand the benefits that it comes mm. from being a team. 
you yeah, know? Yeah. Uh, because at the end of the day, you know, like, if you're not making me better and I'm not making you better, then yeah. what are we doing together? Yeah. You know? True. And better can be in so many senses, yeah. you know? Um, it also uh, comes with, like, growing together is also very important. Yeah. And uh, Growing as a person, right? Yeah. If you both are not growing all together, mm -hmm. then things happen like, okay, holy shit, we are completely different people now yeah. after a few years, yeah. you know? Oh, Yeah. The, uh, that's that, what happened. That's what that, happened. That's exactly what happened that with happened. in my last relationship, yeah. right? I I felt like I grew in a way completely distinct from her, mm -hmm. and she probably grew in other ways yeah. that uh, it was just like we were not compatible. Three different paths, and we tried to make it work for mm -hmm. like one year and something, but it was clearly that, you know, after like almost two years. And you know what? Because once you're in a relationship for that long, mm -hmm. it, you don't want to quit. You know, yeah. you don't want to quit like immediately. You know, it was like, I've been together with this person for like six, six yeah, years. I'm not going to bail. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so I, I keep telling myself, okay, I hope this I improves in the next, you know, three months. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Three months ended. I said, okay, time, maybe, yeah. maybe more three months. Mm -hmm. But one day I was like, fuck. You know, but these three months became like one year and a half. Mm. And then one day he was just like, hey, I think we should break up. And and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, and... Uh, but it must be really hard to leave someone <clears throat> after... It, it seven, is even years. harder when you have no bad feelings toward that person. Yeah, it, it's just like it's just I've sad. I've been in this situation, but oh yeah, once, if you yeah. feel angry, like imagine that the guy uh, does something bad, the guy uh, or uh, yeah. you know he misbehaves to you, he, he mistreats you, he does this, he does that, and you're like, fuck you. So you have reasons to hate the to, person, yeah, to break up with him. It's like yeah. fuck you. I'm going to my life, hasta la vista. But, you know, yeah. But in this case, mm -hmm. when it's like mutual breakups, it's just like, it's just sad because like, it's like the ending of what it was, once was a, a love story, you know? Yeah. And it's just faded. And it, it, it is sad. And it's, it's really, at, at that time, there's only friendship, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, love fades and there's only friendship. And... It was, you know, yeah. I remember, like we both cried, you know. But it was, mm -hmm. we knew, you know. Yeah, it's it's better. It's gonna be better for each other. Mm -hmm. Um. So the same way, I don't understand what it's like to have a, like a bad breakup because, unfortunately, yeah. I never had. But I can imagine like it's way easier if you just say "fuck you," <laughs> you know, get out, blah 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 blah, blah yeah. and then you just break up. I you send a text. I, I think uh, bad breakups, in that sense, uh, whatever you're saying, yeah. is like very different perspective in mm -hmm. my in my opinion. Yeah. But also, it gives you a lot of uh, trauma. You yeah, know? because if uh, bad if it's happening badly, people literally go to that extent they talk shit about you, mm. and then you think about like when you started dating that person, mm -hmm. it was r different. Yeah, and maybe they didn't say shit about you. Yeah. Oh, I love your smile, and when the breakup is happening, oh, your <laughs> smile is so shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, your breath smells like shit in the morning <laughs> so it was just an example you know so that happens and that like breaks your heart and yeah. a lot of senses yeah. so it gets a lot of trauma uh, insecurities <laughs> boom keep building up the insecurities insecurities yeah uh, 